Happening now on KCAL News at 8, deputies say a shooting prompted an hours-long standoff at an apartment complex in South LA. And welcome back to KCAL News tonight at 8, also streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Chauncey Glover. Hi everyone, I'm Susie Sa. Well, tactical deputies responded to the scene for that standoff. KCAL News Assignment Editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. Mike, is that person still holed up tonight? Chauncey and Susie, they actually were just able to take that guy into custody. Uh, LASD's Special Enforcement Bureau went in there and they were able to get him out. Now, we did see that person come out on a stretcher. I want to show you that new video here from a photographer on the ground who was able to shoot it. And you see the guy coming out right there on the stretcher. I did ask the Sheriff's Department what uh, his deal is for a lack of a better word, if what if he was uh, used tear gas or exactly what may have happened inside that required him to go to the hospital. At this point, they can't tell me that but they're going to work in getting some of that information. Uh, but this happened at the Florence apartment buildings, and that building was tied up for hours. Residents told to stay inside as the Sheriff's Department's SCB Special Enforcement Bureau conducted their investigation to try to get this guy out. This all apparently started in uh, the Century area, LASD's Century area, when they responded to a shooting there. Now, uh, we do have some live pictures from SkyCal that are over the scene right now uh, as things are starting to wrap up. We'll try to get to those live pictures from SkyCal if we can here in just a second. This neighborhood finally able to uh, be back in their homes now. We'll come back out here to the desk uh, and figure out what exactly that guy the shooting was and exactly who was injured. Here are the live pictures now from SkyCal. Overhead you see just a couple of cruisers left there as they're starting to clean up the scene. Uh, hopefully we don't have a situation where they used any kind of tear gas or anything like that, which would have, uh, you know, kind of made things a little bit more difficult for the residents that are living there. That stuff stays in the walls for a long time. So we're working with the Sheriff's Department now to try to get some of those details on exactly what went down inside and why that suspect had to go to the hospital. But at the end of the day, this guy accused of shooting somebody in the Linwood area is now in the Sheriff's Department custody. Guys. All right, Mike, thank you so much for that update.